Well, it's 2.30 in the morning, almost, and it is dropped down to 24 degrees. I have three girls that are sitting outside the front of the barn. This is the door. Oops. This is their dog or goat door entrance to go in and out, but there were a bunch of babies in there and some other goats blocking the way, so I don't know if they want to go in or don't, but it, like I say, it's 24 degrees. It's supposed to warm up to uh, the 30s here overnight, but it hasn't yet, so probably won't do that until closer to about 5 or 6 in the morning. I'm going to go in and do a check. My husband went out and did a check about midnight. <clears throat> and uh, he said there was a doe that looked like she might be wanting to have babies. So I'm going to go out and go in there and check. I'm sure it's inside the barn. It's probably about 35 to 40 degrees because of their body heat and partial insulation and so forth. So. Let's go see what we got going. Good morning, everyone. It is day five of kidding season, and um, the last three nights was um, no babies and uh, or early morning babies. So uh, last night after my one thirty check, I decided I wasn't going to get up until. Um, closer to five when I was I get up normally to feed my dogs um, but I guess I was so tired that even after the, I got the five I decided I wasn't gonna go out there um, until closer to when they actually start moving around which is six seven o'clock actually I'm sorry it's not six they usually move around seven uh, being winter um, a lot of times because the Sun doesn't come up until closer to eight they don't really even move around then so I was like figured I might have some time so anyway I finally dragged my butt out of bed at 7 and I got into the barn and there's a new baby on the ground a new mom but the new mom has um, some of the older kids are nursing her and her uh, she was actually um, out enough long enough the baby was actually born long enough that she had already dropped her placenta this is um, a bad thing because you end up with orphans this way because the moms don't bond with the new with their mother because the other babies come in they go ooh milk and they start you know um, suckling and mom the, this mom's hormones she doesn't ha have any clue and she's just feeding babies so then baby doesn't get enough um, of colostrum important to have that colostrum yeah really important um, anyway so I uh, grabbed her put her into a stall with the baby and um, uh, she had obviously bonded with her at the beginning because um, she's actually accepted the baby when I put her in the pen and she's fine with it uh, so that's good news um, we'll see I'm gonna leave her in there um, for a day or two depending on how she's reacting with this baby to make sure that she is bonded and realize that this is hers um, and because the placenta is out for sure I know that she's not having any more kids I did scan the barn to look for more babies because that is also a very serious thing where the babies you know are wandering off because there are um, other kids around that are distracting and pushing them around or uh, and then or pushing mom off at somewhere else because she thinks that those babies are hers instead um, it's extremely important that we do have our um, moms put into pens um, or are outside away from the herd that's why they tend to when they are outside they 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 go away from the herd um, and have their baby somewhere private so it's 
extreme, like I say, extremely uh, important. That especially if they're in a barn situation and they're they're close together, you want these birthing moms to be in stalls. Uh, I'm gonna show you some video here of her and tell you a little bit about this is her. This Nadia. Um, in a second. This is her little girl. She had very cute little girl. First baby for the day five. A uh, beautiful little girl. Okay, let's see what else we get today. I'll let you know.